Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. So today I'm um, doing a QA. and a I asked a few people, well I actually put a story on my Instagram so you could send me questions and I would answer them. So yeah, so this is the Q&A. I hope you enjoy this video. I also got my sister to ask me the questions. So let's get started. What inspires you? What inspires me? <laughs> I feel like it really depends because it can be I'll be on Instagram and let's say I'll see someone working out and I'll be inspired to like get up and start working out or I might see a quote on Instagram that like a motivational quote so yeah it really depends how did you get into fashion I would say my mom and my grandma because from yeah they've always been making clothes and my mom made this dress with this African um, print on the sleeve so I feel like yeah I definitely get my fashion inspiration from my parents and my grandma and also my sister also my sister because I'm all you. whatever I I'm always in her closet because why not we're about the same size so I take her stuff stretch it out and I get to keep it so <laughs> useless <laughs> anyways next question what are your favorite clothing brands oh. My favourite clothing shops has to be, I have multiple for different items so let's say if I want basics I go to H&M because they have really affordable and you know good quality basic stuff but if I want um, jeans I would say either Topshop or Fashion Nova. Yeah I'll definitely say Topshop or Fashion Nova because I like how the high waisted just cinches in your waist and just flattens your belly so yeah I like those two and what else? Can I say ASOS? Yeah. Yeah. I like ASOS too because you can find almost every single brand that I wear right now. <laughs> yeah. Next question. What is your guilty pleasure? <laughs> okay. My guilty pleasure has to be watching Royal Housewives of Atlanta and keeping up with the Kardashians. I just find them super entertaining. Like, I know I shouldn't because they always argue and it's not how you want women to be like they're meant to be you know promoting um supporting women but instead they bring they're bringing them down so i know i shouldn't be watching them but i can't help it they're just hilarious to watch and it's just a fun way to like pass time i guess you know it's like a little escape from reality so that's why i watch it what is it like living in london right now Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. <laughs> I mean, it's because obviously London, everyone knows it's quite fast paced. So right now it's slowed down everything, which to be honest, I don't really mind because I'm getting time to myself and just relaxing. So I don't really mind. Um, one good thing about this whole quarantine thingy is that transportation is now free well on the buses so if you know London you know that transportation is really, really expensive so to have that and because like most most people aren't being paid so I feel like having free transportation is helpful for those that have to go shopping or have to go see family members or stuff like that so I feel like living in London right now it's okay I mean it's not the usual fast pace but we're still enjoying up in here like yeah okay, yeah, yeah, we're enjoying at home. If money wasn't an issue, what would you do for the rest of your life? Cat travel. Travel. Yeah. Okay. Come on, travel. Buy a, buy yourself a private plane and just travel. Yeah. If you had to learn any new skills during this global lockdown, what would they be? So drawing. The ability to can row hair, because yeah. I can't, I can't can row Ooh. hair. Um, what other skill? To drive. Yeah. That's one skill, yeah. yeah. I wish I could drive. We're not down for. Okay, next one is name two of your role models and why. One, I'll say daddy, my dad. Yeah. <laughs> because he always finds the motivation from somewhere and he I don't know like he's always happy one so positive mm -hmm. and yeah he's just a go-getter so daddy definitely yes. daddy and Patricia Bright because I like her style and she's a woman making it so yeah sipping on my juice <laughs> Okay, 
can you recommend 10 classic movies to watch during this period? Classic? Any movies? Okay, 10 movies. Oh, the classic one, the one we watched recently, The Blind Guy. Blind Guy? Yeah, he, the friend was blind and then the, the other friend was deaf. Oh, um, Hear No Evil, See No Evil. Yeah, Hear No Evil, See No Evil. I feel like that's a funny movie to watch. Um, Kung Fu Panda because I've been watching that again. Um, Lord of the Rings, definitely. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, you have to watch that again. Marvel, because I do like Marvel, so I can't even think of any movie. Maybe apart Marvel. from Mar anything Marvel right now. Maybe I'll mention some TV shows as well. Okay. Dynasty, people have to watch that. Queen of the South, you have to watch that. Um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, because I've actually been re watching it again. Martin, Martin Show with Martin Lawrence and Tisha Campbell. Yeah, definitely. <gasps> How to get away with murder because that show is confusing my mind at the moment. It's actually confusing my mind, but it's definitely a show to watch during quarantine and it'll keep you busy. I feel like we have six, I said we, they have six seasons right now, so you definitely be entertained through quarantine. Okay, next question says, Where's the first place you like to visit after this pandemic and why? So, I've always wanted to go to Australia, so I would like to go to Australia, but maybe fly to Thailand, then Australia. So yeah. But why Thailand, was it? Oh, 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 why Thailand? Because apparently I heard it's very cheap, so when you go there, you seem like you're rich. Apparently. But okay. No, I want to go there because, why not? Name two ways you think the world or life will change after this pandemic. Mm. That's really good. That's a good one. That's a good question. Two ways. It will change. I feel like human contact will definitely be different. Like you like can't social really, distance. Yeah, social distance. Yeah, especially like when you go to the shop with the um the plastic barrier Barriers, thing. Yeah. I, like, I feel like people won't be um paying with money as much. Yeah, Everything will be um yeah technology. Right. Yeah. Massive. Everything. Yeah. Because right now they're increasing, they've increased it actually, the contactless, contactless pay to 45. Yeah. So I feel like gradually they're just going to like swipe out cash, yeah. <laughs> cash transactions. What do you think of conspiracy theories? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> conspiracy theories. To be honest, sometimes they do make sense. They do make sense. And yeah, they have all the proof to be honest. They have it. Maybe sometimes they you know, they judge it up a bit to give it a bit of, you know, to have an impact on people, like when people watch it. So, I do believe it. Yeah, I like it. I like watching conspiracy theories because it do it does broaden broaden your mind. Yeah. Not just to it's be. Sort of yeah. Okay. Would you shave your hair for a charitable cause? Oh yes. Oh, no, that one should be easy. Yeah. I would definitely shave my hair She'll for a shave hair for no reason. Yeah, I'll shave my hair for no reason. I'll shave it and then also wear a wig. Even if I can't wear a wig, I like my head shaped, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. If you were trapped on an island, mm -hmm. what are three things you would take with you? If I was trapped on an island. Definitely some kind of cooker thing. Mm -hmm. So I can make me some food when I catch my fish from the sea. Uh, maybe a bed. Because I need to sleep comfortably. <laughs> I need to sleep comfortably in a boat. So I can go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So a bed, a boat, and what's the other one that I just said? I said something initially. Three things you have. <laughs> Three things you have in your possession right now. Oops. That you would take. On the musical. Where's this boat and bed coming from? Okay, so apparently I have to be in possession of these things and yeah. I don't have a boat. Okay, so I'll definitely take my bed. You're carrying a whole double bed. I'll take it's my so double high. bed because it's better to sleep well and comfortable. I can't be sleeping on a hard rock. Okay. So my bed, um, a cooker, like a, not, not the electric one <laughs> that you have to plug into something. So maybe something with matches. Question, how do you stay so slim, girl? Genetics. Um, <laughs> the genetics. Genetics. <laughs> genetics. To be honest, yeah, that. And also, I don't really eat, like eat a lot of junk food, even though I think I do. 
I have like one like once a week I eat like chips or junk food but most of the time I eat quite healthy I think so so yeah mm. name five qualities you like about yourself five qualities I like to smile okay so that's a quality and I yeah I'm friendly that's a quality that I really like because then it, people are always like drawn to you and always like willing to tell you stuff and feel comfortable with you so yeah i would like to say that i'm hard work if i set my mind to something i'd actually do it yeah i'm determined and focused when i want to be so <laughs> i like to think i'm funny five lovely qualities of your sister oh now it's lovely when it was my turn it was just qualities <laughs> but now it's lovely qualities of my sister give me compliments okay so my sister is very forgiving one <laughs> a bit too much so very forgiving super friendly like if you need help she will definitely help you but then i don't know maybe because she's my sister so yeah she claims she's fully friendly when you call her will she pick up <laughs> <laughs> so she's smart as well she is a good cook you know, when we were growing up, she wasn't, but now she is. Sorry. It's fine. I'll take yeah. it. Now she's really a good cook. Like, you know, she made a chicken last, yesterday, actually. Yeah. Nando style chicken, so it was banging. And it was healthy, too. Um, She's super stylish. I get wow. my style inspo from her, so yeah, she's I stylish. I got more just for bonus. <laughs> I can't even kiss my teeth like KMT. Okay. Next question. Um, where do you get your wigs from? Okay, where do I get my wigs from? Recently, I've been getting it from Silk Mist, Sleek or Silk? Silk, Silk? Silk Mist. I'll leave her Instagram thing in my description so you guys can check her out. So right now, I got this curly waterway from her. It's, was it, um, 20 inches? And yeah, I'm really loving it, to be honest. I don't have to do much to it, as you guys can see. Yeah, it's beginner friendly as well. So yeah, I'll definitely say check them out if you're new to wigs or not. Okay. Heels or trainers? Mm. It depends. Mm. Like my day to day or yeah. I'm going out. Okay, day to day trainers, either vans or converses. Mm. So. What do you like and hate about YouTube? What I like about YouTube is that you can be yourself because no one's really like, I can't say no one's judging you because people are, but you can be yourself because you're in your room or whatever and just like talking to your friends online, like virtually. So yeah, I feel like it's a way to express yourself and be yourself. Yeah, sometimes when you're feeling lonely, you just get doored up and then come turn on the camera and just speak. So I feel like, yeah, that's one thing I like about YouTube. So mm -hmm. yeah, one thing I don't like about YouTube is actually the fact that People are acting like <laughs> the subscribe button <laughs> is like you have to pay or something like you don't have to pay people. It's free. It's really free. People won't come to your house and charge you any fees. It's free. So all you have to do right now is click the red button. That's it. But mm -hmm. yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay then, what are you completely over and done with? Um, primers like yeah because you don't really need primers like that mm -hmm. you can just put your foundation on if you have a good moisturizer I feel like that can act as your primer so yeah, yeah. Okay. this one's a really good one it's what's the most unusual fear you have like unusual, unusual fear, unusual fear. Uh, this is no my walking home from work and feeling like someone will catch me someone's following you yeah, either someone's following or the, when cars drive past, I feel like they'll like probably be kidnapped. Yeah, they'll kidnap me. Yeah, that's a bit. But that's girl. like. But it's normal that I have it too. My name is yeah. grew up in Ghana. But then also, the time I used to finish work was like 12, yeah. like 12 30, like when I'm walking home. So I'm like, I get really. Yeah. Ooh, I, this one is. That scares really me a lot. Good question. Yeah. What do you wish people would stop asking you? <laughs> I wish people would stop asking me if this is your hair. Like, I feel like right now you should know. Instagram you should know. Has made it yeah, Instagram has made it very known that we like to wear wigs. 
So I don't know why you keep asking me when I come to like when I come out or you see me wearing a short wig or a curly wig and you keep asking me, oh, your hair has grown. How did your hair grow? Like how? Is it really possible? Like it's not it's not really possible. So don't ask me that question, please. You know already. Don't. What is the biggest life lesson life has taught you? Things will be okay, kind of thing. That everything will always like, be yeah, fine. Like, yeah, everything will always be fine. Even though, like, the situation you're in right now might seem like the end of the world, mm. just know that, like, in a few months, you won't be in that same position. You'll probably be in a happier position. And also, I feel like you even grow from that because you, you've learned from like the experience or whatever you were going through, you probably learned from it. And then, yeah, you're applying what you've learned to your life now. So I feel like you would be much better off anyway. So everything will get better, okay. that's what I think. Okay, so you're going in, obviously. I'm going in. What, what, what part of your culture are you most proud of and what part of your culture are you least proud of? <sighs> oh my gosh. Can I just say the culture? Yeah, yeah, I'm proud of the culture, like food, the the clothing, music. the music. I just like the traditionalness of everything. Like even, yeah. especially like weddings. Yeah, I feel like with weddings, I like when the bride wears the traditional attire with the jewelry, and like it, she just looks like a queen that day. So I just, yeah, that's yeah. one thing I like. What's the worst thing, the least thing you like about it? Please forgive me, Mama. My least favorite part of my culture is that parents or adults in general are never wrong. So us kids can never really have an opinion growing up. So like even if you do something wrong, you can never voice your opinion. You just have to apologize and move on because whatever you say it will just seem like you're talking back and you're, you're not respectful. So yeah, that's one thing I don't like. What's a ran what random stranger has had the biggest impact on your life? Like a good mm -hmm. impact on your life, like a random stranger. Oh, that's making me think. Yeah. Recently, I sold my bed and when the lady came to pick it up, she spoke to me about religion and she was like asking if I was close to God. That, to be honest, made me so emotional because that moment in my life, I wasn't really happy. I was quite low. So when she said that and then she, like just before she left, she said, what did she say? She, yeah, she said, I'll pray for you and I hope everything will be okay. And then also she sent me, um, when she went home, she sent me a Bible verse, like John something. And yeah, she basically just said, just read it and pray and everything will be okay. And to be honest, I came home, I came back to my room and I was just so emotional. I told my sister about it. I, I actually, I think I ended up crying to be honest because yes, yes. it was so sweet. What period in history had the best fashion? I would say the 90s because it's definitely back in fashion now with the what was it called the a-line skirt like mm -hmm. you said um the tight fitted clothing and I feel like the dress I'm wearing right now is very 90s inspired don't you think like look it's very 90s inspired mm -hmm. so yeah definitely the 90s what is something you think you will regret in the future if you don't start on working on it now and what is something you already regret not starting sooner? What I regret not starting sooner is my driving. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's actually two things I regret not doing. Yeah. The driving, one, and two, saving. Yeah. Saving for your future. Like, from the moment you start working, maybe 16 or 14, just start mm -hmm. saving small, small, and don't touch it till you grow up. Keeping in line with what's happening in the world right now, what interesting new greeting would you replace it with? Hi! <laughs> Wait, let's say you go for a meeting or you go for an interview. When you meet someone, initially you yeah, shake their hand. That's so, true. Because we can't do that anymore and forget the whole elbow bump, it's a bit weird. <laughs> I don't know, an interesting one. I'll probably just say, like, hi. Just like, a head nod. Yeah, just a head nod. Hi. Yeah. Something similar to, like, I think the Japanese culture, they're yeah. very respectful with that. Like, hi. hi. You could broadcast one sentence to every TV channel and radio in the world. Yeah. And then have it translated to each country's language. What sentence do you think? What sentence would you say? What sentence would I say? I something motivational, definitely. Yeah. I think I'll say what my parents always used to say to me and still say to me. No condition is permanent. I think that's what I would yeah, say and have yeah. it trans translated to all different languages. Yeah. No condition is permanent because you might be broke 
like a break student this year. Next year, you don't know what mm. you're doing, so. Who haven't you seen or talked to in a long time and hope they're doing okay? Uh, I would say my friend Amy. I have not seen her for the longest time. And yeah, okay. I'll definitely say her because I do miss her. So. What is the most annoying thing ever to you? I feel like I have one, but it's not like a... Uh, when I watch wig reviews and I want to see the left. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. When I watch wig reviews and I want to see the length and all everyone's doing is just showing me hair, I'm thinking like, I don't really care about your face. I really want to see the hair. So turn around and let me see the length. Okay, that's it. And that's one thing that annoys me. What app on your phone do you wish you used more? Um, I would say the Bible app because in this time, especially, we all need to repent. And... <laughs> So yeah, I'll definitely say the Bible app because there are some insp inspirational words in there that will probably help you through what you're going through right now. So definitely that. So the next set of questions are gonna be, would you rather questions? So let's get into it. Would you rather go to jail for four years for something you didn't do <clears throat> or get away with something horrible you did but always live in fear of being caught? Four years jail. For something you didn't do. Because I don't want to go to hell, <laughs> I'll go to jail. i actually go to jail. Because four years, mm -hmm. with the way times are flying real quick, I'll be out soon. Yeah. I just cry every day. But then when you come out, people would, you have the stigma of a criminal, you have a record, you have the stigma of somebody that's done something, but deep down, you know, that you didn't do it. Uh, at least I don't have to guilt, because I feel bad. I feel yeah. like that would just eat you away, and then you'd be true, in jail yeah. within yourself, so. True. Says, would you rather live in the wilderness far from civilization with no human contact or live on the streets of a city as a homeless person? Oh, wilderness. You'd rather be in the wilderness with no human contact. Can I travel and visit people? No human yeah, contact. Yeah, because you didn't say air. Uh, yeah, no human contact, but I can travel. How are you traveling? Because you have no, you're far from civilization as long as you're deep in the wilderness somewhere. Kind of like that movie with Tom Hanks with the, with the ball. Literally, there you, know, you have no way. Uh, yeah, I think wilderness because I, I can't be homeless, God forbid. Mm. I can't. Would you rather lose all your memories from birth to now uh. or lose your ability to make new long term memories? Oh, that's, really good. Ooh, that's a good one. Trust me, I can't even remember what happened like maybe yeah. five years ago. So, <laughs> I guess, oh my god, then obviously, like Ghana times, I don't want to miss that. Mm -mm. I don't think I want to make new memories. You don't want to make new memories, so you'd, you'd rather. Wait, hold on, what's I would rather remember like my so past memories then lose your ability to make new long term long term memories. yeah but then that means i forget my family true 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 true, true yeah i forget everything that yeah. made me me okay next one would you rather always be able to see five minutes into the future okay. or always be able to see a hundred years into the future Ah, five minutes there, just in case I'm about to make a stupid decision. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll say, yeah, five minutes into the future, just in case I'm about to make a dumb decision. Okay, next one. Would you rather be forced to kill one innocent person or five people who committed minor crimes? Oh, this is hard. Yes. One person is like one family to grieve. So one fa family that's grieving, mm -hmm. and then five, the five. Five. Five and have committed minor crimes. So minor crimes could be, I don't know, shoplifting. Like one person, because I can't mm -hmm. let five family be crying like that on my conscience. Yeah. Would you rather have to read aloud every word you read mm -hmm. or sing everything you say out loud? Sing! <laughs> <laughs> sing. <laughs> I'd rather be able to sing. Okay. And I can get me some money. Okay, okay, okay. Would you rather be unable to move your body every time it rains? or not be able to stop moving while the sun is out. <laughs> when it rains. So when it rains, your body can't move? Yeah, which is perfect, because when it rains, I don't like going outside anyways. It makes me itch, yeah. so I'll be at home. Would you rather be compelled to high-five everyone you meet, yeah. or be compelled to give wedges to anyone in a green shirt? Wedgie, <laughs> like wedgie? Yeah, to anyone in a green shirt, or give a high-five to every person you meet. 
coronavirus, remember that. Coronavirus! Due to coronavirus and not touching, I was definitely give people wedgies. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Let you rather have everything you draw become real, but be permanently terrible at drawing, or be able to fly, but only as fast as you can walk. Why would I rather any of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, choose one. Um, I guess. What if I copy trace the pictures on online? I don't know, that's a loophole, I don't know about that. Yeah, that might be a loophole. So I would definitely say draw because then I can just trace something online yeah. and then yeah, next minute I have money. <laughs> I think that would be my thing. Yeah. Draw money. Would you rather have one nipple or two belly buttons? One nipple or one two nipple. belly buttons? Yeah. But one nipple as in no breast on this side? No, you have maybe maybe one one breast is nipple less. I guess two belly buttons. Two belly buttons. Yeah, I guess two belly buttons, yeah. You'd rather always feel like someone is following you but no one is, or always feel like someone is watching you even though no one is. That would so drive you mad. You. I get it. If, if you think someone's following you, then you'd be like turning around every single second you walk, right? Yeah. But then people think you're crazy. Yeah, it's either that or think someone's watching you, which is probably the same thing. Yes, yeah, so I guess maybe watching me mm. yeah i guess watching me would you rather blink twice the normal rate or not be able to blink for five minutes but then have to close your eyes for 10 seconds every five minutes <laughs> i'm just trying it out <laughs> mm -hmm. 10 seconds i think blink twice because i feel yeah. some people blink twice yeah Okay, so that's the end of this q and A. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy getting to know me a little bit better. And if you have any more questions, you can always send it to me on my Instagram. I'll put it up on the screen. And my next video is gonna be a haul, so definitely check that out as well. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys again. Stay safe and I'll catch you guys later.